So we've got here our ripe plantain, and once again, it's not plantain, it's plantain. And we've got it here all fried up in our vegetable oil, and let me tell you, it's smashingly good, and we're gonna show you how it's done. Hey, have you ever been wandering through your local grocery store and you come across these? Well, they're not big bananas. Are these big bananas? <laughs> these green ones or the green plantains? The yellow ones or the are the ripe plantains? So I'm gonna show you how to prepare these and you're gonna love them, so stick with me. So just ensure that when you're selecting your plantain, you get the ones that are yellow. Now, if it does have a little black speck on it, hey, that's fine. The black speck, it's gonna be a little sweeter. It's gonna work out a lot better for you. Make sure that you slice the plantain on both sides, remove the skin. Great, skin is doing good. You can discard the skin and start slicing your planting on a bit of a diagonal. Okay, you get a better look. Uh, the appearance is much better. Now it's clearly, it's entirely up to you how you slice your plantain. If you slice it a little thin, you're gonna get more crispy. A little thicker, you'll get more of a, a, a body. But my suggestion is to slice it like maybe about an inch, uh, an inch, an inch of slice. That works out very well. Now, equal is important, you make sure that you have a good oil. Now, hey, vegetable oil is my go-to. Always use the vegetable oil because that works well for my planting. As well, make sure you have a good nonstick pan. That is gonna work out well. Turn your burner down to a medium heat because you don't wanna be burning your planting. You wanna make sure that it fries and it fries a nice golden brown, it gives it a nice appearance and you're, you're not gonna be burning it. Stove's up too high it's gonna burn and it's not gonna come out very good, so. So placing your plantain in the pan with the oil and nonstick pan, just make sure that the oil is not too hot. It's better off you put the plantain in the pan with the oil when the oil is cold and not hot. So it slowly heats it up and it slowly gets that golden brown color and ensure that you keep it at a medium heat because if you allow the oil to get too hot while you're placing your plant in, it's not gonna be cooked properly, it's not gonna be fried properly, and your, your, your plant in is gonna burn. As the oil heats up, you'll notice that your planting is bubbling and the oil is bubbling and the planting starts getting nice and golden brown on one side. So as it gets golden brown, kind of move it around. You flip them over to the other side, get the other side golden brown while keeping your temperature at a moderately to medium heat. It will eventually get nice and golden brown, nice and crispy, delicious. Flip them over to the other side, get the other side all golden brown. Once it's golden brown, remove it from your pan and it's ready to go. We got our fry our plantain in the oil and we're just gonna turn them they're nice and golden brown. Look at that color. Beautiful golden brown color. That's what we're looking for. Hola, mi amigos, mi hombres. We're about ready to make some tostones. Check it out, Dominicano style. Oh yeah. Man, these tostones are absolutely delicious. I learned about these while I was in the Dominican Republic. And let me tell you, they're spectacular. Make sure that you get your green plantain, score them on both sides, just remove the peel and start cutting them roughly about three inches thick. All right, put them in the oil. You're gonna have your oil, about a half a cup of oil in the pan. Put them in the pan. Make sure that the stove is at a medium heat because you don't want to overcook these puppies. Wow. 
once you get it nice and golden brown on one side, you wanna flip them over to the other side. Get that side golden brown as well. Also fry it on the sides and kind of roll it over. That'll give you a lot more texture on the sides. Once it's all golden brown, looking good, remove them from the pan and start mushing them. So you wanna get yourself maybe a coffee cup or a plate or something and just squish them down. So they're gonna go flat like a pancake. We're gonna go back to the oil, still under a medium heat and refry them. Refry them on both sides, make them even more deliciously crispy. Sprinkle a little bit of salt on top. That's gonna add to the flavor and let me tell you, you're gonna love it. Hey, while we get this Tostonio Fritos going, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, share. If you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Hey, tostone, fritos, whatever you want to call it. It's all the same thing. And let me tell you, this, once you start getting these going, these crispiness, potato chips, you got nothing on these. It just amazes me that that little banana-like fruit that you saw in the supermarket turned out to be this. Fritos, amazing, crispy, delicious. So I just finished frying my ripe plantain, and let me tell you, all set, I've got my, what? my familia here, my Dominican familia, Edwin, here with me. What? And we're gonna enjoy it. Mm. Happy. Lovely. Happy. Oh my, my granddaughter is just up in everything. Patty, patty, no baby, that's not patty, that's tostone fritos. What are you doing, Edwin? That is great. That is my amigo, Edwin, Dominicano, Republica. We're gonna enjoy some fried plantain.